Explorer 1 was launched on February 1, 1958 at 3.48 a.m. UTC on a Juno 1 rocket from Launch Complex 26 at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Its goal was to be the first satellite launched by the United States, but it also had scientific instrumentation which would lead to the detection of Earth's radiation belts. The payload mass was only 14 kilograms, six times lighter than Sputnik 1, but it was launched on a rocket with a mass of only 29 tons, nine times lighter than the Sputnik rocket. The Juno 1 first stage was developed by Werner von Braun, and as part of the Redstone rocket family, it was a direct descendant of von Braun's V2 rocket. Perhaps for this reason, it was initially rejected by the Eisenhower administration, which selected the Navy's Vanguard rocket for America's first orbital attempt. Aside from having an American-designed rocket make the launch, another reason cited was that von Braun worked for the Army Ballistic Missile Agency, which explicitly built weapons, while Vanguard was under the Naval Research Lab and so could be seen as more scientific in its orientation. When Vanguard TV-3 failed two seconds after launch and two months after Sputnik 1 though, von Braun's team was given the go-ahead. The rapid sequence of three upper stages consisted of solid rocket boosters known as Baby Sergeants, first 11, then 3, then 1, designed and built by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, while the scientific instrumentation was designed by Dr. James Van Allen. Explorer 1 included a Geiger-Mueller tube to detect cosmic rays, temperature sensors, and micrometeorite detectors. It was launched to a 358 by 2550 kilometer orbit, operated for 111 days, and re-entered after 12 years in orbit. Its radiation detector had been overwhelmed though, so it took Explorer 3 to confirm the radiation belts, which were named for James Van Allen. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Explorer 1.